Hey guys, welcome back. It took a little while, but I just came back from Shanghai. After the Victoria's Secret show, I stayed for another uh, 10 days. I did a lot of interviews and I went around and I had a lot of fun. So I would like to uh, show you guys where I've been and what I've been up to there. and um, we had a we had a great time actually day after Victoria's Secret show of course we had a little party we slept in a little bit I had the next day already a couple of interviews waiting for me so the first interview in the morning um, was at the Russell James exhibition with uh, Red China and Red is one of the biggest social platforms in China. Uh, Marenda, the founder, did uh, an amazing job. For me, it was a great experience to, to connect with a lot of people in China. And it was a lot of fun to talk about the Victoria's Secret show at the, at the exhibition. They gave me this little little doll or little teddy here, I don't know what it was, a mas mascot of red to hold. I will put a link down here and you can watch the full interview as well. Because I was in Shanghai and there are like so many Chinese fans, I had a meet and greet with a couple of them. And it was actually really nice for me to meet um, also people uh, I know like from online, you know, they see a lot of pictures of me, they write messages, so for me it was a nice chance as well to, to get to know them and to see uh, who's texting me all the time and who is supporting and it was actually really fun. We, we made some uh, cool pictures on the rooftop and um, yeah, I really appreciated that they all came over and uh, yeah, said hi. I asked my fans if they um, had a challenge for me in Shanghai. I was like therapy or something. So after a um, couple minutes of thinking, they came up with the idea, Jeremy and I could walk on the Yin Mao Tower. I really like like extreme kind of stuff. So I was like, okay, let's do it. When we stepped out of the car and I looked up, I was like, oh my God, this is like really, really high. We went into the elevator, the, it's on the 88th floor and 340 meter high. Also when I saw on top the view, uh, I was a little bit nervous, yeah, I have to be honest. Yeah, so we uh, got secured like really well and we stepped outside. From the moment I stepped uh, outside, it was I enjoyed it a lot. It was so cool, like not really scary I found um, because I had a feeling I was secured really well. So that was that was nice actually. When I was up there, I was like, oh wow, actually the city is like huge. So yeah, we sat down and we enjoyed a little bit the view. I have to say, guys, if you're going to Shanghai, definitely do it because it is really nice. You can actually really see the city. And also, I have to say, it's less scary than you think it is. So, the next day, we are going to the Yuyan district. And this was like a district with all like food and all like little shops and little markets. We were gonna have lunch here and also like a tea. I love to go explore the city and to see like what all kind of foods are there. So the first like little um, 
So the place we bumped in was a place where they sold these like big sticks and on those sticks were uh, fruit with kind of like sugar around it and it was it was kind of hard to like eat like that um, because the sugar got like really really hard but it was really really nice normally I'm not really a sweet I have to say that was uh, that was pretty uh, pretty tasty then um, we walked around a little bit we looked at some little stores um, we did some shopping what girls always do then we went to a very la nice lunch place this place was um, very famous for Kalum Paul. I hope I say it right I'm so sorry guys if I don't <laughs> no, no Chinese accent I have so the Chong Chong Pa is like a, a little, yeah, it looks like kind of a dumpling like with dough and they put like uh, pork or shrimp and vegetable in it and actually it was one of the first things I tried while, while I was in Shanghai and I really really liked it, it was very tasty there is a special way of eating the Kong Pa the first thing you do is like you grab it with your sticks, actually I, I can eat you with sticks so I was very proud of myself and then you put it in the soy sauce you dip it then you put it on your spoon you make a hole in it you suck it don't do this on a first date guys because <laughs> if you're trying to eat it like don't do it on a first date because it's not that charming and then you um, you eat the whole thing afterwards and then you taste like the shrimp or the pork or something and it's delicious we ate so so much during lunch i could barely walk after we made like a big tower of all the baskets we finished imagine there are like six of those column paw in the in the basket so we ate like a lot my favorite one actually was with crab yeah i love seafood a lot of first timers for good food they made me try jellyfish for me that sounded like really really bad because people always told me like mm, don't even touch it like it's very dangerous i'm in china why not let's try it i have to say it was not even that bad we walked a around a little bit and I could see like all the like super cute like traditional um, architecture architecture Ugh, I can't even pronounce the word architecture it's always nice to to walk around a city and discover because it's more the feeling you get of a city the vibe and it was really nicer it was also very sunny the days before it was like rain 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 I was so happy that the day I was off, there was like a little sunshine. Afterwards, we went to uh, Tin Tin Din. That's uh, one of the like nice shopping areas. Here they have like really like high end stores and also like a lot of like nice bars. One of my friends was like, oh my god, I see someone, I see someone. And I was like, what? Does she see, some, does she see someone like familiar? We passed by an electronic store and she was like, yeah, let's go in there. And I was like, why? So we walked in there and that was me in there. <laughs> it's always uh, super funny to, uh, yeah, to see yourself hanging somewhere. I heard it was everywhere in China before, so that was uh, super cool. There was uh, a huge VS store just opened up in Shanghai. Yeah, I wanted to take a, a look there as well. Maybe do some shopping. <laughs> it was a really nice store. It was so big and like everything was new. And um, on the top floor, it was kind of an exhibition. They put like looks from the show out there. Everything is like handmade and it's they all use like little diamonds, little feathers and it's really nice. 
actually backstage the show. Everything is like so crazy that I don't see it either. So on the ex in the exhibition, you could actually see like how beautiful it is, and that was yeah, that was pretty uh, that was pretty nice. Yeah, I couldn't stay too long because uh, we had to go off to dinner. So this was the end and I hope you guys got a little impression of my trip in Shanghai. I had a, an amazing time there and I was very happy that I stayed a little bit longer, got to discover. And I know for sure I'm gonna go back soon. Um, I really liked it. And I hope you guys liked watching my little video. Don't forget to subscribe here and you will see me soon in the next video.